hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's Tommy here once again so today I have a video for you guys I'm going to be talking about my 2015 favorites I know this is kind of late but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this but after all I just decided you know what let me go ahead and make this video since I've never done any sort of type of favorites video ever before um I just want to welcome you guys back to my channel for those of you that are new here thank you guys so much for checking my video out I hope you guys subscribe for more videos and for those of you that are returning I want to thank you guys as well for being here with me this 2016 um, I hope you guys are having an absolute beautiful day whatever's going on in your day right now I hope it's absolutely beautiful try to get through this and you know just present my favorites to you guys dashikis were probably like my, my favorite piece to wear last year they were really really comfortable and I just loved I just absolutely loved wearing them. Mine is personalized at the back. It says Africa 54 on it. You can get it online at theadatomi.com, which is actually a business I started. And if you use the code Beautiful Entity, which I will leave right here, you can actually get free shipping on your entire order off of the website. So make sure you guys check that out. And, and I'm hoping that, you know, people who buy from it will love it. Um, I'm going to start off with makeup. So the first thing I'm going to start off, start off with is what I use for my eyebrows. Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. This thing right here is the bomb. This is the absolute best thing I've ever used for my brows. Like before I used to use um, this like pencil and I, it would make my eyebrows look brown and like it wasn't really that natural looking. But you guys, look at my eyebrows today. Look at this. I have three favorite foundations for this year. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW45, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in 355, and then the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. These two I used at the beginning of the year and I absolutely loved them. But the one that I love the most, you guys, is this one that I just got. It is the best foundation I have ever used. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in number 80. Actually, for those of us with oily skin, this is so good. Now, it is a little bit darker than my actual skin tone which is perfectly fine with me because um my my face is lighter than the rest of my body most of the time we'll end up doing a review later on about this foundation so if you want to hear all my thoughts on this you will definitely get to see that another thing i loved that matched up with the foundation is the makeup forever professional step one skin equalizer and it is the mattifying primer this thing is a bomb. I know if you watch my Snapchats that I said that this thing doesn't work and I didn't like it. After a while, I started loving it all over again. This thing is better than Milk of Magnesia. Like, I used to use Milk of Magnesia all the time. This is now my go-to product. Now, this is quite pricey. I paid about $40, I think, around that area for this. This was made for your face. So it's not like Milk of Magnesia that was made for your body so that you can, you know, go to the bathroom whatever you need to do this was meant for your face and I absolutely love this and it doesn't leave as much as of a white cast as milk of magnesia does and it blends in very beautifully as well and then you get your matte finish so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Kat Von D locket tattoo concealer if you guys have been watching my videos you guys know how much I love this concealer my friend Adesua she's been in some of my videos she put me on now I've never had any other concealer that matches as well with this. I've used I've used like mo mainly drug drugstore concealers like the LA Pro concealer that everybody has. I've used that one, but I love this one. This one blends beautifully. It has a really nice texture so it blends seamlessly into the skin as well. I am wearing it today if you guys can see that. I'm wearing it in my little highlight areas. Another thing I want to talk about is the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is the peach one. This right here, you guys, I looked for it everywhere. I could not find it. For months and months and months, like around the around my drugstores and like beauty supply stores, I could not find it. But when I found this, when I found this, girl, 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 I use it to color correct and my foundation has never looked better. It has never looked better. If you guys have watched my contour highlight and um, my contour highlight and color correcting video, which is will be right here, and I'll leave the link down in the, in the description bar as well. You guys know that my foundation look bomb afterwards. If you are of dark skin complexion, like myself, you need this color corrector. ColourPop. ColourPop liquid lipsticks are the best liquid lipsticks I have ever tried. Once you put these on, they're not going anywhere. If you guys haven't watched my um, 
lip swatch video that I included all of these in there it's right here and I'll also link it down in the description bar below today I'm wearing beeper um, on my lips and they're only about I, I believe six dollars each if I'm not mistaken my absolute favorite of the bunch is Avenue this right here is like the perfect brick red for those of us with darker skin tones I suggest you getting this red go try it out it is honestly one of the best reds I've ever tried like when I want to wear red lipstick I pick this one so the next thing I want to talk about is the Sacha Cosmetics um, buttercup setting powder I'm very sure if you watch a whole lot of youtubers videos they say that they love this powder it is the same for me this is the best setting powder I have ever used I use it for setting obviously my under eye um, con concealer as well as sometimes depending on how I do my makeup I do use it on my eyes as eyeshadow it's not grainy and it doesn't leave like what's it called you know when you take pictures and flashback yeah it doesn't do that flashback thing mac mythology eyeshadow which looks like this this right here is an eyeshadow but guess what i use it for if you have not been watching my videos you probably don't know what i've been using it for make sure you watch my other videos by the way this right here is what i use to highlight so this is what i use today for my highlight it's like a rose gold color and it's really good for women of color when some of those bright golds and whites don't look good on our skin tone this is probably one that has looked the best on me without without looking how do i put it without looking ghostly l'oreal infallible super slim eyeliner pencil and it looks like this it's very thin this right here is um a go-to for me whenever i do want to wear eyeliner it's really easy con to control especially for people like me that have hooded eyelids my two favorite brushes of 2015 were the morphe m441 and m443 brushes i'm very sure you guys have heard a lot about these I absolutely love them because they are the best blending brushes I have ever used. The M443 is more thin and more precise and it's um, thicker so it does help in precision especially along my lower lash line or if I want to really pack something into an area that's what this is really good for and the M441 brush I use that to blend out my color especially when it comes to um, transition colors I use that in my crease to really blend out the color and that works really well for me another thing I wanted to talk about are my palettes one of my favorites was the forever nude palette by um, BH Cosmetics. One thing I absolutely love in this one is the rose gut color for highlighting. I love the blush as well. It's a deeper blush. It's really different, especially for women of deeper skin tones. It was about, I believe, $12. Oh, another one of my favorites is this MAC um, case right here. I don't really like the idea of the Z palettes because they move around and your stuff can break. I think it cost me $10 in all for the case. My favorite transition color that I'm going to talk about is this color right here. I've forgotten the name of it but I will leave it somewhere up here so you guys can get the name of it. This right here is by MAC. Every time I do my eyeshadow I use this as my transition color and it is so beautiful on women of dip deeper skin tones such as me and whoever else is watching i would use this brush with it which is the morphe 441 brush and then i would just tap some of that and put that in my transition area for a transition color another thing i really loved was this right here which is the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner this is the best brush cleaner i have ever used it costs 36 dollars, and i will leave the link down in the description bar below this right here is the best brush cleaner of all time all you have to do is pour some in a cup or whatever and dip your brush in it and wipe it on a paper towel and your brush is absolutely clean it is absolutely clean and it's a no rinse formula so you don't have to rinse it after because it does have alcohol in it to kill the germs and it's fast drying as well so you could use if you especially if you want to like spot clean your eyeshadow brushes you could just dip it in there dry it on a paper towel and just use it immediately that's how quick drying it is I use it on my bigger brushes but my bigger brushes tend to take up a lot more product so I tried as much as possible not to this right here is the miracle it's a Mir miraculous anti-aging moisturizer and this right here works wonders on my skin especially at night after I've finished like taking off my makeup or um, exfoliating or whatever it is that I do that night and I use this after my skin when I wake up feels so good I did get this as a sample when I went to BeautyCon so I don't know how much it is but I will leave that in the description bar as well ha my doodoo -doo also for those of us that are African man or whoever you may be we know what this is when I say I don't have skincare problems I mean it like I'm not a person who breaks out regularly or anything like that um, so I don't get a lot of breakouts but this right here keeps my skin under control another thing I loved was the simple cleansing micellar um, 
water this right here is what I use to remove my makeup so I use it with cotton pads and I just put it on the cotton pad and literally when I wipe this side like this the makeup's gone and it's really moisturizing it's not harsh to the skin it doesn't dry your skin out and I will leave a link down to the in the description bar below okay okay so for those of us who are 4c girls and we have thick edges one thing that I would definitely recommend is the curls blueberry bliss curl control paste if you have watched my how to style how to slick 4c edges which I will leave right here this is what I use and it slicks those edges girl especially if you're a 4c like me this slicks edges like no man's business this bag right here is a like a Celine inspired bag that I got from Target and this is my favorite bag it is so it is so um roomy it fits like everything that I need in there I can put like notebooks in there if I'm going to class or whatever my friends would ask me oh my gosh is that a Celine bag I'm like no honey I got this from Target for like $45 thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below the links to all the products that I talked about in this um, video will be down in the description bar below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so before I leave I would absolutely I would absolutely appreciate it and don't forget to check out the and you can get Free shipping on your order if you use the code beautiful entity and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye. Let's go out and just dance. One night be mine. Till the sun come up, don't stop. Be mine one night.